G in action. They haven't played since last Tuesday. The overtime loss to Miami in which Justin Turner did not play in the overtime session. But the Falcons all time leading score ready to go tonight. Falcons showing rust early on down nine to Quan Plowden in the post hoop and harm after the free throw BG down six. BG ice cold from deep missed their first eight attempts from beyond the arc. Finally Trey Diggs connects. Falcons still trailing later in the half. BG showing light. Justin Turner the J, but the Falcons still down 34 26 at the break. Second half, Plowden takes over for the Falcons. The two handed slam makes it a three point game. Then later in the second, Turner on the fast break finds Diggs, the sixth man of the year, lays it in, tying the game up at 57. More from Plowden here, next possession. Basket gives BG their first lead up 59-57. Plowden finished with 26, but the Zips respond. Game tied at 61. Lauren Christian Jackson, the drive, two of his 31 points. Jermaine Marshall adds a pair of big threes, and BG falls 74-67 as the Zips end the game on a 17-8 run to end the Falcons season. Mark Koontz is back with us from Cleveland. This Bowling Green season has been defined by inconsistencies, winning streaks, losing streaks, uneven play during games. And tonight against Akron, it was a cold start, down 8 0 to begin the game. A hot start in the second half that saw them leading the game late in that second half before one last dismal streak as Akron eliminates Bowling Green. Now, Justin Turner was not 100%, but his team said they had a boost just having him on the floor. You know, we all believe that he would be able to play. We wanted him to play because, you know, He's our, he's our leader, and we all push behind him, so we were all supporting him and wishing he can be on the court with us. You know, he was able to be on the court. Of course, he wasn't 100%, but we had just that much more confidence when he was on the, on the floor. And, you know, it's just we just felt great when he said he was able to play and when he was in the starting lineup, you know, it was just, it was just great. We were all happy. We just felt, we just fell short. It, 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 he was he was he's he was banged up. He was really banged up. He chose to play tonight. Um, you know, he wanted to fight through it. Uh, we were going to go without him, but he wanted to play, and I owe him that much uh, for what he's done for Bowling Green basketball and myself and my coaching staff. And um, you know, I owe him all of that. And he wanted to play, and you know, I had to give him the opportunity, and he, he played well. Even even banged up, he still did a really good job of distributing the ball. Uh, he just couldn't move the way he needed to move. And when we needed a bucket, it was hard to go to him at that stage. So uh, he was definitely banged up. And, you know, I feel for the guy because he worked, you know, his tail off for all these years to get to this moment. Last couple of days, there have been rumors swirling linking Michael Huger to the open job at Fordham. After the game, he was definitive about his plans for the future. I'm a Falcon, man. I'm a Falcon. So that's that's all that's said and done. I'm a Falcon. I'm flying high. I got work to do here, and that's, that's all that's on my mind, and you'll see me next year.